My colleague Gaurav Savant is now joining me live from the newsroom on this uh, developing story. Gaurav, what are the details that you have at the moment that you can share in terms of the incident that took place in terms of the gunman who is now in police custody and has been questioned? So 41-year-old gunman, this incident took place um, around 11.40 this morning, uh, Japan time. Uh, the, the former Prime Minister was speaking at a corner rally uh, in, in Nara Prefecture. Uh, the attack took place from behind. Two shots were fired, one after the other in quick succession. It apparently was a sort of 12-bore shotgun, uh, which, the, uh, which the killer used or the alleged killer used. Um, and uh, this was a sort of shotgun, which means the barrel in front had been cut. There was some kind of black cloth or tape uh, applied to it in an attempt to perhaps conceal the weapon. Uh, he was wearing a grey T-shirt and uh, brown cargoes. He tried to mingle with the journalists and then moved in uh, to take the shot. He was overpowered immediately. He is a former uh, se maritime self-defence force uh, uh, operative, which means he was earlier in the Japanese Navy. He's also said to be uh, have said to have worked as an associate professor. Um, at a university uh, in Nara itself uh, is what the initial information that is coming in. Now, he has been taken into custody, but motive is still unknown. Information that's just coming in seems to indicate that this, uh, this alleged uh, assassin or the killer uh, was, uh, 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 you know, was, was keeping a close eye on the movements of the former Prime Minister. How long was he keeping an eye on these movements? What was the motive, uh, according to the Prime Minister, still remains a matter of investigation. Gaurav, stay on with us because we're getting some fresh videos that are emerging from, in fact, uh, the site of this incident where this crime, in fact, took place. A fresh video of uh, the shooter has been accessed by India Today right now. Now, moments before the assassin shot Abe, this, this video, you can see the assassin over there just standing somewhere in the crowd and you can see Shinzo Abe in fact uh, standing at the front over there. So he's very close to the stage, the dais where Shinzo Abe is in fact standing and uh, making his speech. You can see him waiting by, just behind you can see. You can see Shinzo Abe, former Prime Minister of Japan in the foreground and in the background in that grey t-shirt and the brown cargo pants as uh, in fact Korov was explaining is the alleged uh, killer who in fact has been taken into custody, was immediately in fact uh, taken into custody by the security personnel over there. He's of course seemingly biding his time while you can see Shinzo Abe there making his speech in the foreground of those uh, visuals, the, the video that has been now accessed by India Today. This is a fresh video emerging now from the scene of this uh, crime. Shinzo Abe of course is now battling for his life in a hospital at the moment. Uh, Gaurav, if you're still with us, can you please explain these visuals uh, to our viewers? You know, this is the, uh, uh, the, the killer, or the alleged killer, uh, uh, the, the shooter. The shooter is hiding in plain sight. He's in there, in front of everyone. He has a mask on, but as, the, as does virtually everyone because of the fear of COVID-19. So, and you see some kind of a bag that strapped. The weapon was apparently concealed. And this is where the motive becomes extremely uh, important. He, he's hiding a weapon in some kind of a bag. He's come with the intention and, and then he moves in closer. Uh, we, and you, you hear a, a, la, a loud sound. You see smoke. One after the other, you hear two rounds being fired and the former Prime Minister collapsed. Apparently one bullet uh, uh, or one cartridge with multiple uh, uh, shells inside or pellets inside hit him uh, somewhere close to his neck or in the neck and back area. Uh, and there was tremendous internal bleeding uh, is uh, what initial reports, initial media reports seem to indicate. Uh, there was internal bleeding. No vital signs is what uh, first responders then said as he was heli lifted uh, to hospital in, in Tokyo. Uh, but the information about the, uh, the person who's hiding in plain sight, former self-defense, maritime self-defense force, former Navy man of, of Japan, uh, Japanese forces, also some kind of an associate professor. But more details are still awaited.
Okay, more details are still awaited. This is absolutely a shocking piece of news, Gaurav, of course, as far as India is concerned. Because Shinzo Abe definitely, along with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, took the relations between India and Japan to a new level, to newer heights. He indeed did, right from 2012 to 2020, uh, when he was Prime Minister of Japan, initially uh, with former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, and uh, then 2014 onwards with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi went to Japan in 2014, uh, I was reporting that trip in Tokyo and in Kyoto, and the personal chemistry between the two leaders. They were friends, they were very close friends, even when uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was Chief Minister of Gujarat. And the relationship was one, they were they're, they're very similar, uh, both very strong leaders, both very popular leaders, uh, and both, um, you know, wanting to make their countries extremely strong, both economically and militarily, and both saw China or a need to, to come together to counter uh, the, the dragon's footprints in the region. 